So the Samsung Galaxy a 10 e just got an important software update. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech and the Samsung Galaxy a 10 e is a phone that I've really not covered that much. Uh, this is a straight talk device on a straight talk network. And as most of y'all know, Straight Talk really don't send out very many updates to majority of their phones. So I was surprised when I seen this major update here for the A10e. Now, this may have been out for a little bit. I really don't know. I just happened to see it here on this A10e. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, turn the phone on. And there's a display. Now, the processor in this phone, not really sure. I think it's Exynos processor. This phone runs 2 gigabytes of RAM as well as 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. So, uh, with that being said, I did run some Geekbench scores before the update because the phone's not been updated yet. Let's go ahead, go into Geekbench 5, 212 single core and 529 multi core running Android version 9. Now, we're going to go in here to the settings to software update. And we're going to go here to download and install. And this phone here got one UI to upgrade with Android 10. This was a 1200 megabyte update and the security patch will be up to June 1st, 2020. So it's nice to see they gave this phone Android 10. I was very surprised and has one UI too. And you can see here what's new. If you want to read all of this here, you can pause it and, and you can, because I'm not going to go through all the stuff when I get done updating this phone. But you can see the icons and colors, the full screen gestures, the dark mode, which already has dark mode. Uh, but anyway, refined interactions, full screen gestures, one handed mode, accessibility stuff there, better text over wallpapers, media and devices. So a bunch of stuff here, device care. So if you want to pause this and read this, you can. Uh, digital well being, the camera, you got different stuff there internet samsung contacts calendar reminders my files calculator connected car for android auto is now preloaded so you can learn more there which yeah anyway let's go ahead and finish downloading here it's about finished uh, on the downloading part and you can see right there that it should be doing the restart here very very soon um this is a pretty good device you can buy this phone right now uh, at Walmart for $99. So right now, it's a parent software update. I'll let this finish and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, we're back and the software update has finished. So we're gonna let us go through the boot up process here and everything. You can see right there, this is a track phone device or for straight talk. And like I mentioned earlier, this phone is $99.99 currently. Uh, phone is updating, optimizing all these apps, so that'll take a while as well. Uh, but while it's doing that, I want to just hit on a few things here while we're waiting. Uh, it's $100 right now. The A20 is $149. The A50 is still $249. So I would say that the A20 be $50 more. I get a lot of questions about the A10e and if it should, people should buy it or not. And the phone is not bad. It's a small, compact phone. Has no fingerprint scanner, but it does have face unlock. Now, it ain't the most secure unlock in the world, but it does have it. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM is a deal breaker for most, um, but it, that's what the RAM is in this phone. Uh, the storage being at 32 gigs is not bad. You cannot move apps to the SD card to the best of my knowledge. I will check that out and maybe make that in a future video if you can um, or able to transfer some uh, apps to the SD card. But um, for 100 bucks, you know, this is going to be a good phone for, you know, light to casual usage, uh, for social media, for taking pictures here and there. This phone should do the job, um, but you got to you know, think, you know, no fingerprint scanner. You know, it's the, the bottom firing speaker is kind of subpar, kind of tiny um, and stuff like that. So you got to just, just say, you know, is it worth spending $50 more for the A20? Or saving fifty dollars and go with an AT&E or just a different phone all around. So um, this is gonna take a while um, to update and optimize all these apps. Okay, so we're updated now to Android ten. I did give it a few minutes here to finish the update and all that kind of stuff. There, uh, face unlock still works uh, just fine. Uh, it's not the fastest in the world as you can see right there, uh, but it does work and does work okay. 
Now, I haven't went through a lot of the settings in the phone, nothing like that. It's an Android 10, all that kind of stuff. Now, the settings button down there does look different. I mean, I, I was like, what kind of button is that? When you press it, yeah, goes into the settings here and everything. So, now, I run a Geekbench 5 test before. I'm going to run a Geekbench 5 test here after. So, let's go down to Geekbench 5, and you will see right here, once it comes on, we are running Android 10. So let's go ahead here and run this test. Okay, so these here are the updated benchmark scores here for Geekbench 5. You can see here it took a little bit of a hit in single core, but it did go up a little bit there at the multi-core. You can see up in the corner the Android 9 um, scores, but these scores don't really mean anything. I mean, I run these tests just for fun. Um, to see the differences between operating systems and different phones, stuff like that. But these here are not accurate, and they do not give accurate representation to how the phone works to a day-to-day. -day. So let's go ahead and go into the settings here and verify that we are on Android 10. And you will see right there, One UI version 2.0 with Android 10 running on June 1st, 2020 security patch. So there you go, AT&E, $100.00. I'm really surprised it got Android 10, um, especially for straight talk from straight talk as well. But it got it, and I wanted to share this along with y'all. So, for the self form of it anyway, hit that like button. Any questions that you may have, leave it below, and I'll get back with you as possible. If you haven't subscribed, you please consider doing so. Hit that bell notifications. I'd appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, and thanks for watching.